All right, we are going to write an equation of a line that is parallel to a given equation. So we know that we need two things in order to write an equation of a line. We need a slope and a point. So right now we have the point. Point was given to us right here. We need a slope. So we're going to look at the equation that's given to us. We're going to locate that slope, which is right here. And because it's parallel, that means they have the same slope. So the slope is 2. And then we're going to remember how we wrote equations of a line from our summer assignment. We are going to write y minus the y in the point, which is 4, equals the slope, which we just said was 2, times x minus the x in the point, which is 2. And then we're going to change over to typing. It might be a little neater for you. So we're going to rearrange things here. We've got y equals. On the right-hand side of the equation, we're going to distribute the 2. So we have 2x minus 4. And when we move this 4 to the other side, it becomes a plus 4. We can then combine like terms. That negative 4 and that plus 4 are going to give us 0. So the equation will be y equals 2x. That's the equation of the parallel line. Now, let's try a perpendicular line. All right, so we know that we need slope and a point. And we have our point. Our point's given to us. We got the 1, 2. Now we need a slope. We're going to take a look at the point that line that's given to us. We're going to look for the slope in that. The slope is found right in front of x. Our slope is 2. But we are talking about perpendicular. So that means we're going to have to flip it. So that's going to make it 1 half. And you have to give it a negative. Negative reciprocal for your slope. Now, when we write our equation of a line, we are going to have y minus the y in the point, which is 2, equals the slope that we just found, negative 1 half, parentheses, x minus the x in the point, which is 1. And then we're going to get y by itself. So we are going to distribute the negative 1 half in front of the parentheses. So we have negative 1 half x. Then when you do negative 1 half times this negative 1, we get a positive 1 half. And when this negative 2 moves over to this side, we change the sign so it becomes plus 2. And all that's left for us to do now is to combine like terms. So we will have y equals negative 1 half x. And then we combine the 1 half plus the 2 for 2 and a half. There's your equation of the perpendicular line.